Hey Dungebags, what's going on? It's Landon Remixes here, and welcome to my first ever reaction video. As I mentioned in my last video, my review of Dumu's Talk EP, I'm kind of doing an overhaul on my channel, kind of changing up the content that I'm doing a little bit, trying out different styles of videos and seeing what sticks with you guys. I, for one, have never really been a fan of reaction style videos, and really in general, I'm not really into that, you know, high energy vlogger type YouTuber stuff. It just feels really fake to me. But the more content that I see from YouTubers like Naughty Step, the more I realize that you can make a reaction video and be genuine and entertaining simultaneously. I also just feel like this is a way to get more content out to you guys where I can just listen to something for the first time live on video and then kind of just put it together rather than having to listen to it and digest it, you know, listen to it over and over and then prepare for a review. It takes a long time to prepare for my reviews, believe it or not. So especially on projects like the one that I'm going to be reacting to today that I really don't see myself doing a full review of, I figured a reaction video would be appropriate. So I'm just going to try to set aside all my preconceptions and give you guys a raw look at what a reaction looks like for me. But before I do that, I wanted to take a brief moment to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Audionamics. I found out about these guys while attending a class at NAMM earlier this year. Essentially, they make really helpful software for DJs and producers like myself, and I assume a lot of you watching this. The product of theirs that I personally use the most is Xtrack Stems. It's a really cool software that lets you separate a raw music file into vocals, drums, and an instrumental. If you're a DJ or producer, it can be really frustrating trying to find an acapella or an instrumental of a track if you want to make a remix or use a song in a mix with the vocal ice isolated. Xtrack Stems makes it super quick and easy to use. I saw the software showcased at NAMM and I was so impressed with it that as soon as I got home pretty much I bought it. I used the software a ton in my entry for Monster Cats Mix Contest this year and if you guys still aren't convinced I made this little demo video to show you guys just how easy this software is to use and how effective it is. <laughs> Of course, x -Track Stems is just one of an extensive line of products that Audionamics offers. As some of you guys might already know, I don't currently run ads on any of my videos, so checking out the sponsor via the link in the description is really the best way to support me. The guys at Audionamics were kind enough to be my first sponsors ever, and I would love it if you guys could show them some love. If you click the link in the description and decide to buy any of their products, I'll get a nice 10% kickback on it, so like I said, it's really the best way to support me if you enjoy my content. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into this reaction video. Today I'm going to be talking about the newest, I guess you'd say, mixtape from Space Laces, Voltage 2. Ian Slider, aka Space Laces, is an American bass music DJ and producer. Been listening to this guy since Destroyed 11 Get Stupid, which in my book is one of the greatest dubstep bangers of 2013. Still holds up great today. And over the years, I have continually been extremely impressed with Slider's ability to hold up and remain on the cutting edge of production. While times change and trends come and go, with a lot of great producers falling victim to those trends, Space Laces has been consistent throughout the years in just putting out really inventive music in terms of sound design and his mixing is always just phenomenal and putting out some of my favorite dubstep bangers over the last couple years like phone tap overdrive and one-on-one -on -one with excision voltage 2 is obviously a follow-up to voltage 1 an experiment that slider came up with in late 2018 which was basically a mixtape comprised strictly of unreleased tunes. I mean, technically, I guess they're 
release now because you can hear the full mixtape with all the songs on most of your favorite streaming platforms, but the songs themselves don't come separately. You kind of have to hear them in the context of the mix, which is sad for me because I thought Voltage 1 was comprised of a lot of really fantastic bass music. In fact, if Voltage 1 had been packaged as an album rather than a mix, it probably would have been one of my top 10 albums of the year last year. Needless to say, I am very excited to hear what Voltage 2 offers, and to be able to give you guys for the first time a live reaction of how the music is affecting me as I'm hearing it for the first time. Toward the end of the video, I'm planning on airing some thoughts that I have about the project, maybe talking about whether I like it more or less than Voltage one. But for now, let's react. These are the signs of warning. It hurts like thumping. Okay. Oh, here we go. Computer. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Ooh, okay. Okay. Transition time. Little triplet beat there. Oh my god. That is nasty. Oh, it's still going. Where is it? Kinda. Okay. This is insane. The bass is just so fat. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. That is so glitchy. Drop came out of like nowhere too. Kinda got some garagey undertones, that kind of said. Fun twist on like the rhythm formula. It's a little bit off beat. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping there's some house tunes on this. That the, that was part of the Voltage one that I really enjoyed. So let's here, here's hoping. All right, <laughs> some like outer space shiz right there. Okay, see, so, yeah, I asked for house. Ask and you shall receive, I suppose. Okay. Ooh. This kind of reminds me of like some early like Skrillex Electro House with that like growly bass. It's really good though. That low end is just so good.
Okay, now that's some like classic Space Laces sound design right there. Ooh. This sounds powerful. Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow. That was intense. like an early 2000s like hip-hop beat. Kind of, it's kind of crunk. This is more crunk than Let's Get Crunk. <laughs> Ooh, alright. It's like Neuro speeding up more. Okay. Whoa, okay. Now this reminds me of like some of the old like destroyed stuff, actually. Which makes sense. Oh yeah. That's some like very old like Skrillexy Moombaton right there. Ooh, that's juicy. Oh my gosh. Ooh. <sighs> that's like more snails than snails. Welcome value customer. Scan items one at a time. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, here's some melodies. Ooh, a little jazzy. Ooh. Little little daft punk kind of influence. Oh, we're coming toward the end here. Hope this isn't the last song. Oh no. No. <laughs> Just give me more. Oh, come on. I'm letting the last 10 seconds of the mix play out. It's, it seems to be just silence, but I'm seeing if anything happens. Nope, nope, that's it. So yeah, wow, there's a... A lot of a lot of really I mean it's basically what I expected. It's a lot of really great bass music, a lot of cool inventive sounds all over the place. Um I overall I don't think I like it as much as Voltage 01. Like I I don't know. I was kind of noticing a couple of the songs actually sounded like very very up the same alley as as some of the songs on on Voltage 01. I I don't have the track list in front of me so I can't really um, reference specifically what I'm thinking, but yeah, wow. Other other than that, just incredible mix. Um, lots of really crazy off the wall tunes. That's that's basically what I wanted to get. And once again, I'll reiterate that I would I would love Space Laces forever. Not saying that I won't already, <laughs> um, but yeah, I would I would just love it if he could package these songs separately into like an EP format. I'm sure a lot of DJs would would like that actually because his tunes are just so like unbelievable but yeah i'd say that's pretty much it i don't have a lot else to say about this i'll probably i, I mean i don't i don't typically listen to mixes all that much so i can't imagine i'll be coming back to this that much um maybe maybe though i'll, I'll end up listening to like voltage one and two back to back because it'll sound more like a like a full-length album but yeah really really solid mix overall that thing was a journey and a half by the time this video comes out it may or may not be on spotify yet so if it's not I'll have the SoundCloud link otherwise it'll be Spotify and I'll try to update it to Spotify when it's uploaded there. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more content like this make sure to consider subscribing and if you enjoyed this video uh, leave me a like. Once again huge thank you to my sponsor Audionamics make sure to follow that link if you're interested in any of the products that I mention or you just want to support me. Anyway I'm Landon Remixes and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.